Okay, hello there viewers. So let's try this advanced concept. Okay, let's say you're given this type of binomial and you're given the expansion or you already find the expansion. And they want us to find this approximate for square root of 10 by substituting as given 1 over 10. Where I said the approximate question and you're given the x. In this case, the x is given. Okay. So let's begin. All right. Uh, for this question, you might want to check the x valid. Where you, you can see yourself in the previous part that you can know the x values. So 1 over 10 is is within the x value. So now let's begin. So we substitute x 1 over 10 to both sides in this case. All right. So you substitute to, to substitute to the left hand side and also the right hand side. And from here, just press your calculator and you might find the answers. Okay. Just substitute inside. Press your calculator. Going further down. And for this particular case, we got ourselves as this uh, square root of 10 over 9. Okay, but what we want to find on the left hand side, you got square root of 10 over 9. But what we want to find is square root of 10. So we are not yet there at our answers. So what should we do? Well, it's not that difficult as you can see over here. This thing I can simplify it further down to 3 as your denominator. So instead of this 3, is down here. I'm bringing it to the right hand side. So I get myself as that, okay? And you need to, to remember as well, since this is an approximate question, you need to put this curly eyebrows, <laughs> approximate sign. I remember when I went marking one day that if you don't do plus dot dot dot, you might penalize one marks. Regarding this, it depends on how lenient is your examiner. All right, so that will be the first type of questions. Okay, now moving on to our next examples. Let's say it's time we want to find sub x equals to 1 over 100 and we want to find the approximate value of square root of 2. Okay, this is a lot harder. So firstly, as usual, we sub x equals to 1 over 100 to both sides. Alright, to the left hand side and to the right hand side. Okay, for the right hand side, there's nothing much. Just press your calculator and you got this one. For the left hand side, well, you got yourself over here, 49 over 50. What we were trying to find just now is square root of 2, which have nothing to do with 49 over 50 square root as well. So we need to find square root over 2 somewhere around here. The previous example was a lot easier. Okay, 49 over 50, our 2 is hidden in the 50, where I can split it up and I got myself something like this. Okay, so 25, 50 is 1 times 25. And why I separate left and right because 49 you can square root it, 25 you can square root it, and you get yourself something like this. Okay, I hope you guys are following. So, what are we trying to find again? Well, just now we want ourselves a square root 2, and here is our square root 2, which is down in the denominator. Uh, how are we going to find it? So, what we need to do right now is that we need to cross multiply this to the right side. And while this one here, we're going to bring it down here. Okay, hope you got the idea. And once we cross multiply from here, this is what we'll get. Okay, so square root 2 on the right side. This one is going down there. I mean, the square root 2 become the numerator. So once it becomes this, just solve it up and you got the answers. Right, remember your answer need to be in the curly eyebrow. It's a approximate. Okay, moving on to our final examples here. You got yourself something like this and substitute x equals to 1 and want to approximate square root of 3, root, uh, cube of 3, root, cube root of 3. Okay, so the process are the same, just substitute the left hand side and the right hand side. I'm not going to double too much. Okay, continuing on, so we substitute both sides and the right side just press the calculator. And the left side you got here, it's not that difficult. But what you are trying to find is cube root of 3. And here there's a negative. So we got ourselves into this. This is not a terribly hard question. So simply this one move to the right side. And this, the right side here, just simply switch it up. Okay? So you got something over here. And press your calculator. You got here. Okay? Now I may get some question from people. Sir, why must we do all of these approximation, substitute and so on? Why can't we just, you know, let's say for this question, you want to find a square root of 10 over here. Why can't I just simply press my calculator? Well, if I press my calculator, I get myself here. 
3.1622 and what we get from all of this calculation just now is 3.1623 so there's a slight difference over there okay so the hassle that we done here <laughs> is because people in the past they don't have a calculator so this is how people in the past they actually calculate their uh, well roots sort of that okay I hope that's useful for you and this is a difficult topic I know please comment share like and subscribe and hopefully the video is useful for you all the best for your exams